Collective. How are you guys? Hope everybody's doing good today. We're doing good. Evie's under the desk. I'll try and get her here in just a minute. I want to thank all of you all for being here. Thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of you who view my content and who spend your time with me. I'm so grateful. I want to give a special shout out to my channel members. Thank you guys so much. I love you, Collective. All right, let me see if Evie will let me get it. Come here, you guys say hi. Okay, say hi guys. What's going on? You guys say hi. <laughs> She's sleepy today. Of course. She's always sleepy. Yep. <laughs> see, see, I prove it. I sleepy. Oh, goodness. You sweet girl. <laughs> Tell everybody you love them. See, I'm going to lay down. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Okay, guys. All right, so let's tap in. Let's see what Spirit wants us to know about. My last two readings have been a little, a little energy draining, so I've had to rest the last couple of days. The last one was very disturbing. Told to start with this desk, with this deck. So <laughs> let's see what's going to happen. We may have another energy drain coming through here. What have we got going on, Spirit? What do we need to know about? Okay, there's going to be an unexplained freak accident. This came out in my reading the other day. Please clarify further. Possess a talisman to amplify positive vibes. So it's to like protection, to be like a crystal, you know, whatever you want to use. Just to radiate positive energy to surround you. Could have some evil eyes, some negative energy coming towards you. Yeah, it could be from a fake spiritualist that's doing this that you need to protect yourself from here. Or someone's been going to one and uh, they're getting ready to experience an unexplained freak accident. This person is coming across as not being protected from this fake spiritualist here. We've got Black Obsidian. Carries a calming and positive energy that can help you remember to look on the bright side of things. And Black Obsidian also, it's good for the root chakra it, it will help dispel negative energies um, it'll help transmute that negative energy out so that could be something that you may want to work with and black tourmaline is also good for that a good protection grid for crystals for my crystal lovers out there is black tourmaline and selenite together it's very protective energy extreme protection whenever you have both of those crystals working with you together Hmm. scorned lover here could be who's doing this they could be trying to act like they're spiritual and they're not an old fling of your an old fling of your current or recent ex-partner so it could even be whoever they're hooked up with that's doing this towards you they're still feeling deep pain of rejection and betrayal. Look at this crazy look in this person's eyes. God almighty. Could be trying to affect your appetite. To make you more malnourished. Yeah. Dark entities are using these people to work against you here. So. These people are fucking possessed. And we've got a copycat that's trying to be just like you and do everything that you do. A return to sender has backfired on this person and that's why they're getting ready to have this freak accident. They're envious of your career and the money that you're making. And they're recruiting haters to come at you here. And the person causing you negativity could be a fire sign here that's doing this. Mm. 
They're trying to re do remote viewing to look into your mind to see what's going on. You need to protect yourself from this person. So Spirit's telling to amplify uh, your protection around you because someone's casting magic here. All right. They're hating on your creative ideas, your creativity, your just everything. So definitely, I'm um, hearing definitely do extra protection on your sacral chakra as well, because that's where our creativity center is. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me about the scorned love. So this could be like your ex and whoever they got hooked up with. Wow. Yeah, they've got themselves fucked up. The Eight of Swords in the Tower. And that can also be like this person trying to trap you and what yeah, and they're in the five of pentacles. I'm clarifying the scorned lover here. Whatever path they went on towards this family unit here that they've got going on with someone. We've got a King of Cups energy here that you've walked away from. This could be someone from your past that you could have worked with or something. Or they see you working very hard. This was a soulmate relationship here. That you've healed from this person. And you're standing here in this boss emperor energy here. We've got the death card and the moon. So someone could get hurt with this unexplained freak accident. Could happen at night. Could be like out traveling around at night under the moon. May not find the person until the sun comes up. May take a long time. Something's going to happen. Two of Pentacles can be like an exchange of money here. So trying to go steal money from somebody. If someone tries to travel towards someone to steal from them or be a criminal towards someone in some way, they're going to end up in a freak fucking accident. Hmm. Queen of Wands, the Ten of Wands and Strength. Trying to remain calm because... There's a lot of burdens going on. Someone's very stressed out and overwhelmed. I'm seeing this like, oh, that could be an actual death to where there's, this is law enforcement. So something that they've tried to manifest, it's going to have them in the Ten of Swords or in the Nine of Swords for whatever this magic is that they were doing. They took advice from someone. Something's being illuminated. And you've been protecting yourself from this person or any love offer that's coming in. You're protected. You've worked your ass off to be in this Empress energy here. You're coming out as the Emperor and the Empress. So that's the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine energy of the being. With the star that means that you're healing and integrating and, and balancing both the Feminine and the Masculine in and of self. You're seeing through all this party and all these illusions, all this chaos, all this crazy... King of Pentacles could come in with some kind of offer that's really going to make you happy and fulfill your wishes. You know, to where you can be in this Queen of Pentacles energy and you'll finally have rest together. You could have this. could be a new divine union coming in here. And then with the Queen of Cups, you're very intuitive. You're psychic. You're emotionally supportive. You have a lot of strength. You're very creative. These people are feeling it. They're feeling it. They're holding on to the past. The scorned lover here. They're full of resentment. They regret the loss of you. So they're trying to come after you spiritually. Well, you're in agreement here. 
with the hierophant you you work with divine source energy here you're a master here you're a master manifester because where i just laid that down it's right on the magician here and you've got good news coming in could be regarding some kind of conflict that you've been having to go through some kind of disagreements or something wow you've got the truth with the ace of swords and the ace of wands here you've worked hard you sacrificed you're going through a whole new level of enlightenment here your spirit guides are here with you you're finding out the truth and you've got new beginnings coming in you could be getting some communication that to where you would have to travel and possibly go somewhere but the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor so wherever this is that you would be going it's it's going to be good energy here whatever was has been hidden in the dark it's going to be revealed you've gone within you're doing your inner healing work to get to this beautiful emperor empress like star energy you're healing you're profound you've healed from this person you've moved on this person has not moved on they've not gone in and done their inner work but you did you went in you you journeyed through your heartbreak so that you could come through on the other side of it wow look you're in this high priestess temperance energy here you're a powerful high priestess and you're a powerful manifester and co-creator you're in this earth angel energy and this wow we've got a king of wands energy here that could be coming in and this knot of swords king devil knot of wands energy this is just pure sexual lustful bad like coming in fast like rushing towards you taking a risk we've got this could be law enforcement here with justice and the king of swords and the six of wands so some of you that could be having court cases here you're definitely going to have a good day in court right there confrontation could arise you call judgment on this <clears throat> Whoever these people are that have been coming against you with all of this, they're under judgment. You call judgment. You're in this beautiful nine of pentacles energy here. And you very possibly with this king and queen of pentacles. And then the queen of cups energy here. Emperor, empress energy. That's divine union coming in. You could be getting married. Getting into a commitment. And this you're going to hold on tight to each other. You're going to love each other very much. Yeah, it's a new love offer that offers equal give and take and reciprocity. Wow. And this, this union here comes with the Ace of Pentacles. It's going to be very abundant. You both stand in your truth. You could both be healers. You're going on a new journey. You're going on a new journey to go towards calmer waters. You could have some decisions to make that could leave you know people conflicted in what you're doing but you're you've got a whole new world that's opening up to you right now so it doesn't matter what all this magic is these people are envious of you they're envious that you're already in the ace of pentacles the emperor empress energy you're the, the star the high priestess and temperance energy you're profound and now they're disappointed they're sitting here pouting about it they're fucking mad because they miss these opportunities with you and they're stuck in stagnation and you've got an unconditionally loving beautiful divine union coming in that's going to be extremely abundant and these people are just fucking spying on you so they've been trying to do magic to come against your blessings and it doesn't matter what they do you call judgment you're being protected your gods are on the scene and they're not going to let this come against you you may be tired you may need to rest a little bit more just to transmute that energy but this scorned lover th this is this is their this is their outcome they could very possibly end up in jail for this stalking and spying well they're in the tower they are definitely trapped in god's tower because they are under judgment they are powerless they have been rendered powerless whatever this is this energy that they're trying to put out and this chaos brought by a sudden change here it's just like oh it's like all of a sudden fucking out of nowhere this unexplained accident's going to come in if this person tries to come in towards you and this nasty ass seven of swords energy here they are going to 
Meet their maker is what I'm hearing. Hmm. Yeah. This person's sneaking around and very deceitful and manipulative. And this person could be sick here with the Five of Pentacles. It can be illness and spiritual and financial hardship going on here. They're poor spiritually. They're bankrupt spiritually is what Spirit just said. Tell me about this fake spiritualist. It's coming out as a high priestess. So this fake spiritualist here is trying to act like they're psychic, like they're a high priestess, like they're a healer, like they're enlightened, and they're not. Their intuition is blocked. Tell me more. Yeah, they're a fool. We've got Emperor energy here. So that's Aries energy. And that's all Major Arcana is right there. And they've been doing this shit for a really long fucking time, whatever it is. Coming against any unions that you could have, any stability and security. Trying to affect anything that's good for you coming in. The High Priestess is Taurus and Cancer. The Fool is Pisces and Aquarius. The Emperor is Aries and Scorpio. The Eight of Swords is Gemini. The Tower is Scorpio. The Five of Pentacles is Taurus. And the Seven of Swords is Aquarius. The Four of Wands is Aries. And then the Knot of Pentacles is Virgo. So, maybe that... Just take it how it resonates. That could be your sign, or that could be their sign of whoever this is that's fucking with you. Alright. And that's wild because over here it did say that this person that's causing you negativity is a fire sign. And then the emperor came out, which is a fire sign. So it could, an Aries could be very pertinent to your situation for some of you. This person's disappointed. They're bored. They're depressed. They have no focus. They're stagnant in their life. And then this person is jealous and they're mad because your life is going in a better direction than theirs. And so therefore they're trying to come against you instead of doing the work on themselves and doing what they need to for themselves and working hard to obtain what they want. They're mad at you. So we've got a fake spiritualist, a scorn lover, haters that are recruited, copycats that can be trying to copy and act like they're a high priestess or spiritual like you are collective and they're not, they're not tapped in because their energy is so so low their vibrational frequency is very low keep a protection pouch on you and with you this person's trying to telecommunicate and put things into your mind nature communication flower energies fairy energies and elemental messengers so they could be working with the elementals could be herbal uh, herbal magic going on too. Manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of conditions. Yeah, this person needs to learn how to make themselves happy and stop trying to affect the happiness of someone else. Find the lesson. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. This person is learning a harsh life lesson right now under judgment and in the tower. 
impossible things, working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, and a fresh perspective is getting ready to come to this person, and they're getting ready to have an unexplained freak accident. Work through disbelief. Yeah, you know, they can't handle where you are in your life right now is what I'm hearing. They don't like this. Draw them here. Dark entities are using these people to work against you. Copycat trying to be just like you and everything you do. This person wants what you've got without doing the work and it doesn't work that way it does not work that way you've gone through this fool's journey here to stand in this emperor and empress energy this person has a love-hate relationship with you yeah because of your spiritual beliefs here this person's going through an ego death they're having a spiritual awakening god's got them in the divine tower here under judgment for being a deceptive thieving manipulative cheating criminal in your life putting you into the five of pentacles state keeping you trapped and confined and feeling hopeless or cornered making you feel like you were powerless and fearful of them they wanted you to feel trapped you've closed the cycle with this person this person's in a downward spiral and they are definitely experiencing karma this shit's over got a divine masculine here they're getting readings and they are not happy about what they're hearing some of you, they could be finding out that you're getting ready to get into a new relationship and get married. Yeah, and you're going to have a family here. So they've been putting love spells over that because they don't want anyone to pop the question to you. They don't want you. And they could end up getting shocking news here. We've got a thug that you bump heads with that's fucked up over you. Yeah, you bump heads with this person. You don't get along with this person. Turn out these dark entities that are using people to work against the collective. Tell me about this. This person's shady and they want you in your feelings. So they could be trying to hurt your feelings, so say hurtful things or something like that to like, um, we've got GPS. They could be following you. Could have put... For some of you, you could have put a tracker on your car, trying to monitor your every move, or they're on the move and like driving by your house or following you when you go somewhere. This person likes to live in the moment and they drink a lot. They're very toxic. And with GPS and dr drinking and toxic lifestyle here, living in, that could be a, a DUI, which I was instantly drawn to this unexplained freak accident over here yeah they're going to be all fucked up time's running out they're full of anxiety because they made a very bad decision out drinking and driving here they're in their feelings this shady motherfucker and this dark entity here is controlling this person's being your spiritual gifts have this person fucked up We've got heartbreak here. This person's fucked up over you. Because you're coming out as this beautiful queen bee here. You're secure in yourself. You're confident. You're a boss bitch. You're focused on your bag, your career. It's looking good. And this person's feeling like shit for what they did. For just walking out of your life. No closure. No contact. Left on red. This person left you hanging. So now they're drinking like crazy to cope. This was a karmic here. They could be trying to come up with extra money somewhere, creating a side hustle, doing some shit. This is a karmic here that you had some karmic ties with. They've got secret accounts. They see what's, what you're doing online. Now they're in massive regrets because they stabbed you in the back. They cheated, left you in pain. 
played mind games. They love bombed you and acted like, you know, they loved you. Shady feelings here. These dark entities have shady fucking feelings. You're free from this. You're free from this Eight of Swords prison. You're free from this Jezebel that stabbed you in the back. Now, you're mirroring this person and you're turning your back on them. Good job. They could try and come in with some kind of trap. Acting like they've been searching their soul and reflecting that this separation and the time apart missing you here. This could have been an ex-twin who's a fucking psycho. It's a crazy ex that's obsessed and won't let go. They we're out having secret romances with people here. But you see this person's true colors. This scorned lover over here that's now trapped because of what they fucking did. This person was abusive. Left you out in the cold with his five of pentacles. Could have stolen from you. Put you in the tower. Made you feel trapped in everything that they had done. It was a karmic cycle here. You flush this fucker in their phony fairy tale land that they had you in down the fucking drain. You could have worked with this person or this person had an affair at work. You, you rejected this person. You got fed up with them. You didn't want anything else to do with them. And you started to love yourself. And yeah, I'm busy. I don't have time for you. It's too late. This person was all about having shit their way. They're selfish. They're stubborn. They're arrogant. They operate out of their state of ego. And now they could be really fucking embarrassed. They're ashamed of something because it's going to end up landing them in the court. And this was a karmic lesson that this person had to play. So judgment's getting ready to come out. Bad credit, debt, and an unemployed. So this person with the Seven of Swords here, they could be trying to steal money. They could get caught with, like, fraud here. But the police are getting ready to get involved with whatever this is. They could have paid for something. This person's credit has gotten really bad. The cops are involved. And whatever wish that you've wanted, it looks like it's going to come true. Yeah, you block this person. You don't talk to this person. You don't have anything to do with this person. This person's getting ready to go through harsh fucking karma. And your wishes are getting ready to be granted. Remember the ten of... Uh, or the will of fortune turned in your favor. Impossible things are getting ready to unfold. You're working through disbelief. Imaginative leaps and leaps and a fresh perspective is going on here. So... A spirit for a wish to come true. And it's going to. They're going to grant it for you. What do we need? What else do we need? Let's see what they're recruiting these haters for. What are these haters for? What are they doing? Wow, well, we got an alliance here. Yeah. Trust, honest, and compatibility. So, they, these haters trust each other. They're friends. It's an alliance of friends here. They've, like, it's a, connect, it's a connection. It's a team of them. It's a network of them. Network online. What about these haters? They're hesitating on doing some... Oh, they're hesitant on death? So they could have a death plot unfolding right here. Decision, confusion, and worry. And then this is endless harm is inevitable. Yeah. Make you sick. Kill you with some kind of death plot here. This five of pentacles. Disease, weakness, and fragility. Yeah. They've scheduled a time here. They've got a strategy going on. And it could be at night while you're sleeping. And that's what came out earlier with death and the moon. This person's pissed because whatever this is, it's not it's not working out. They're trying to stop from being homeless, possibly. Or 
they're just failures. This per we have stagnation again. This person's stagnant in life. They feel like a failure. They're poor, so they're out trying to steal money in the Seven of Swords energy. They're pissed. They're m very unpleasant to be around. This person's lazy. They're trying to organize a plan and a strategy with this alliance of friends here. They're definitely planning something. Well, they can't wear a mask before God. Period. God sees what's going on. They're very deceptive and they're pretending to do something here. They're inconsistent. And we've got proof of a detective here. Something has been detected. There's evidence and there's an investigation because of a large lump sum of money here that was obtained. It's got the law involved. We've got a tarot reader here or getting tarot readings. They're living in a nightmare right now. They're suffering in darkness. They're being persecuted. And, or that's what they're wanting to try and do towards you. It's to make you scared. Or this person could be scared because they're sick and they're going to die. They're trying to find get readings to find out what's going on in their life. about this unexplained freak accident we have keeping you a secret and it came out reverse so some kind of secrets getting ready to come out this person knows that they fucked up with whatever this is tantric sex something's gonna happen when they're out fucking somebody Doing drugs. Oh, no. Somebody could OD is what I just heard. Yeah, well, they're out sleeping around being promiscuous here. Somebody's getting ready to get fucked up whenever they're out being sexual with someone. Someone could drug someone. going to come out whatever it is because there's going to be an accident so something that someone was trying to hide that they were doing is getting ready to come out and it involves sex and drugs and they're going to get busted with something because of an unexplained freak accident i'm seeing a car wreck here they're going to end up breaking some kind of contract that they're in person's life's getting ready to fall apart with whatever it is and these haters need to check themselves and the collective doesn't want to hear any fake apologies you might as well keep that shit to yourself this person's getting a room so yeah this person could end up getting busted I keep channeling that there's going to be some kind of a bust at a hotel because it keeps getting it keeps coming out my readings game over they're caught somebody's getting ready there's getting ready to be some serious shit go down in a hotel and it has to do with drugs and sex hmm. so we have keeping a promise on the bottom of the deck and keeping you a secret came out in reverse and then this breaking a contract. And their wish did not come true. This person's in the Four of Cups. They're doing black magic. Something could be going on with your ex here. 
they're get they're hooking up getting rooms with people they're getting ready they're under investigation whatever they're doing this is someone that you broke up with they're on drugs they're very promiscuous they're harnessing tantric energy and this tower here is getting ready to bring in an unexplained freak accident from God himself put this person probably in jail with this eight of swords because it's right under the scorn lover with eight of swords the tower the five of pentacles and the seven of swords and then the four of cups they're fucked they're fucked whatever this is this person's fucked hmm let's find out more about who this person is well they kept a promise to someone and now they're trying to act like they're sorry with this fake apology this fake apology here they're only sorry because they got caught they're not sorry so they could have gotten caught cheating in a hotel person so jealous this person shady as fuck this person dark could be a mature man here wow abandonment and twin flame mature man so this could could be i mean divine masculine y'all flip it how it resonates but mature man mature woman here that walked away from their divine being here who loves themselves which would be you collective and they walked away from their divinity and you love yourself this person's concerned now they're all fucked up they're concerned that you've got real love coming in and you're moving on and you're in your north node here collective they're concerned about that they don't fucking like that because they know that it's over and that they can't come back across that road there's no way across it unless they fly like a bird and it's not going to happen the road is closed and you're getting ready to be really happy in a new relationship here for those of you who are open to receive new love right now it's karmic feminine here is doing voodoo over divine feminine divine masculine here They see you here in this boss, emperor, empress energy. Your faith is strong. You're abundant. And they are trying to bring conflict towards that. They could be talking to you in comments. Trying to talk to you in person. Online. Got Jezebel that wants to come to your house. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. And that's exactly what they're trying to manifest. They see that you've ascended so far past this shit. You're single. You're, sex, you're sexy. You're successful. You're abundant. And you've blocked this person. And your ancestors are blocking this person. This person's not allowed to fucking come towards you. Your ancestors have blocked this motherfucker off. They're like, you better get in that bus and ride your ass on out. Because they want you unbothered from your ops. Your ancestors are helping take care of this situation. They know that money was paid to create love spells. With this dark energy that's going on against you. And they've lifted the veil to you. So that you can see the jealousy and envy that this person truly has towards you. And they're mad because of how intuitive you are. They hate your spiritual gifts. This third party here that they trusted and got all fucked up with was an entity. that It had an entity attached to it. Now they're in emotional pain because they're fucking trapped with this crazy thing. And it's definitely... Wow. The starseed's going to see these motherfuckers in court. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> this was an ex-Ice King here that was a soulmate. Ice Queen. Are going to prison for whatever jail or whatever the fuck this is for this seven of swords criminal energy here that these investigators have found this person's coming out as a rich guy so this could be like a wealthy ex that's full of lust so or that could be like a sugar daddy here 
be a sugar daddy here. Hooking up, having sex for money. This person's giving this sweetheart the evil eye. This healer sweetheart here. Giving him the evil eye. Could send, could send a message here. You're getting ready to have an awakening about something that's going on with the family here in this community. The family in the community that's casting death magic and doing rituals. A whole community here. They're expecting an achievement. They're expecting this shit to work and for it to be able to manipulate you collective and to uh, transition you out and bring in nothing but fury and destruction. They're trying to manipulate you to get their way in. They're lying. False monkeys out spreading false narratives. They're pissed. They're trying to create bullshit lies so that you'll let them come in towards you so that they can steal from you. Yeah, they're going to want to try and come in and be all nice because they want money. And your spiritual gifts and how you are with your psychic abilities it's leaving these fuckers emotionally and mentally unstable they can't handle it We've got an ice queen here We've got a child we have a rising star that is good in their occupation you are the rising star collective so they're mad about your money they're envious of your career and your creativity and the money that you make. So they're doing magic over, yeah. You know, they're enamored with your abundance. So they're doing magic over it. This person's in their thoughts here and confused. This mature woman or mature masculine, y'all flip it how it resonates. But they're confused how they're, they've gone to some kind of voodoo priest here to trap you and put you in bondage but you're protected from this they're confused at how you're so protected but surprised they don't realize how powerful of a high priestess you are and that you're held in high honor and they're not going to come in and be able to create a health concern and abuse you and for what they've already done to you in that way they're receiving karma for it right now yeah please help they're in poverty you sweet earth angel that's what they want mm -mm. but in the distant future this obsession is going to have to change there's a whole new pathway that's getting ready to unfold for you it's a karmic masculine that's working hard on a love offer that's bullshit it's a false fake love offer here that they've been working on or that they're in and to try and create this commitment here it's a shady fucking offer just to get you in your feelings but because this dark entity here that's using these people to work against you they want to affect your chakras so protect your chakras because they're attacking them so that you won't see through this strategy that they're trying to create yeah almighty so that this karmic feminine karmic masculine here can come in with this love offer and this lust demon fucking energy this lust demon is obsessed with you and it's controlling these people it's controlling them well this demon's in spiritual court and it's not going to be able to continue Netflix and chill. Sneaking around, friends with benefits, spending time with someone else. So this person was screwing around, sneaking around. They like to bounce around. They've got multiple sexual partners that they lay with. It's just a friends with benefits thing. This person could try to pop up at your house to do this because they want to create like a friends with benefits kind of situation. You can do what you want, but I don't recommend it. This person's in the Five of Pentacles with a lust demon. They've got a sexually transmitted demon and very possibly a sexually transmitted disease. It's 
follow your guidance. Focus on your healing work. Trust your intuition. This person could be trying to come into your dream state. Trying to affect your dreams from coming true. But that's not what's going to happen. It can't affect them. And could be trying to... Uh, someone you had a soul contract with. A soulmate. This person's childish. They're very immature. They're argumentative. And they're playing like... And acting like they're the victim here. This person's gotten caught with something. They're getting ready to be very ashamed. Because whatever this magic is that they've done. It's backfired. And it's going to cause a freak accident. To unfold. Because God is getting ready to teach this person. A karmic lesson. This person's under judgment. Get ready to have legal matters. Talking about this death. Clarifying this death over here. Self pleasure, sexual thoughts, intense feelings, sexual desire. There's an end to that with this death energy here. This person's sick, they've got something. And if they're promiscuous, they're spreading it all around. And if it's an incurable, that can be murder charges. This person's immature. I'm telling you, this person is so immature. And they play mind games. They're, they're just ridiculous. They're testing you. They're analyzing you. And this is an ex here. It's a very immature ex of yours here. They're unfaithful. They're in a love triangle. The ex is in question here. And they've been living a double life. They're a liar. They're a cheater. They're deceptive. They're in another relationship with someone. And they're stubborn as fuck. They're so bossy. They're dominating. They're selfish. It's their way and that is it. They won't budge. They're so fucking inflexible. And this person is toxic. It's a toxic love. It's so much drama. There's a lot of addictions going on with drugs toxic lifestyle with the drinking love-hate relationship and this is under the copycat here it's a love-hate relationship trying to be just like you in everything you do spiritually they don't know how to do what you do they don't understand you and this person got caught red-handed they got caught cheating their secrets are getting ready to expose to get exposed to so whoever they were keeping a secret it came out in reverse look their secrets are getting ready to get exposed we've got something surprising and shocking that's getting ready to go down and this person knows that they have fucked up oh man they're fighting with somebody trust issues one-sided and detached this person's hurting whoever they cheated on they're crying they're depressed they're full of pain and sorrow sitting here nostalgic looking at pictures missing you full of fucking regrets and they this person's got caught red-handed with doing something here and some kind of unexplained freak accident is getting ready to unfold that is getting ready to expose this promiscuity and drugs that's going on in a fucking hotel room because this person's being investigated or wherever they're going. It doesn't have to be a hotel, but out <clears throat> going to someone's house, a hotel, whatever it is. If they're in this Knight of Wands energy, they're out bouncing around you know, with friends with benefits that's going, having sex and hooking up, hanging out, watching Netflix for a minute and leaving, you know. It's nothing but the sex. Hmm. Let's close out spirit. Yeah, this person's a narcissist. Someone's too full of themselves. This ex here. This is someone that you broke up with here. And they could be experiencing a breakup right now. Because of divorce 
and break and contract here. They cheated. So they could be going through. They've already gone through it with you or you're going through it right now or they're going through it with someone else. Yeah, they're spying. Someone got their eye on you. But you're doing your research. This problem's got problems with addiction. They could gamble. They, their finances are bad. This person could have gotten someone pregnant. It could be what the secret is. I was instantly drawn to promiscuous, you know, sexuality, communicating about their sexuality here. Someone is still trying to figure themselves out. This person could be on the down low. They're trying, they want to try to communicate and work something out with a possible air sign here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <clears throat> you could be moving a distance away from whoever this is. You could literally be relocating. And you and your partner could be physically or emotionally distanced. This person moved into a new house or they changed their residence and moved in with the new partner. But no, you don't need to have anything to do with this person. Your intuition is telling you to use caution when it comes to this person coming around. You don't let this person back around you. The cycle is completing. It's faded that something is getting ready to happen. And someone else has been sabotaging this relationship they've been right in the fucking middle of it but you're getting ready to manifest new love here coming in it's already coming in tell the universe exactly what you want as you're manifesting and asking for this wish here that they want to grant you because impossible things are getting ready to happen for the collective We've got fire sign again here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And someone is available. It's a waste of time. It's over. Need to move on. Yeah, your, your angels are and your spirit guides and your ancestors are protecting you from this liar. From this sneaky motherfucker. Because they're wanting to circle back around. Could expect to hear from them soon. Could be from an earth sign. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. But your, your guides are protecting you from this person. And this person, I mean, like, no. Use caution sexually. This person has got something. They're very promiscuous and they could have gotten someone pregnant. They, they go both ways. With a lust demon on them. They don't care what it is. They're going to fuck it all. I need anything else? Pull from this deck. Get some messages from the angels. The best is yet to be. Yes. Good things have happened, but even better things will be presented in the future. Thank you, spirit. You're a chosen. Look here. You're God's chosen. Make a difference in people's lives. Yes. And set your intentions. Can't come against God's chosen. Intention is the creative power that fulfills our dreams. As your will, so is your destiny. Yes. Look. You are powerfully co-creating with the divine you set your intentions to manifest your wishes to come true and these people are jealous of how well you manifest because they can't do this like you you're a chosen being and you are divinely protected and you are anointed and they are jealous of your anointing and there's nothing that they can do to take that from you that's not how it works this shady ass lust demon here. It's all in their feels. Because of your divinity. And because you love yourself. So. You're going to have new love coming in. And you love yourself enough to know that you have to walk away from that which no longer serves you. Your highest good or the highest good for all. And you love and respect yourself 
and you honor your feelings and you process your emotions and that's why you came out in this beautiful star emperor empress energy healing and being in perfect alignment and balance in the being and it's beautiful energy i'm so proud of you collective good job you're doing a good job healing from this just stay safe it sounds like this person's up to no good so just kind of amp up your protection around you right now for spiritual attacks that are coming in all right guys i hope this message helps only take what resonates i love you guys bye collective